guys welcome back or to the channel today I've got the SV out again and I think it's about time to do a suspension video because a lot of guys that get the SV have mentioned to me that they either want to switch out the forks and get new suspension for the front or they've already switched out the forks and got new suspension for the front uh, when I first got my bike I thought that was the route that I was gonna go as well but honestly I don't think so and I think that the suspension is set up pretty good at least for somebody my size I'm six foot one I weigh 170 pounds so I'm not that big but I'm not average size I guess I'm a little bit bigger than the average person but it fits me great and the suspension is awesome I don't have any issues with it I don't really feel that I bottom out sometimes I feel it's a little bit stiff I wouldn't mind having a little bit of adjustability but that might come down the road when I do actually eventually go to change them out my forks or my rear spring and it is what it is for now I actually don't mind it too much so I thought I would go for a ride show you guys a real world example of riding on the streets how the suspension reacts so I'm gonna set up a camera on the front and I'm gonna set up a camera on the back I will do it uh, separately because I only have two cameras I'm gonna be running one on my helmet just so I could show you guys basically what the terrain or what the road looks like ahead so you guys can see how it soaks up the different types of bumps and different types of just inconsistencies in the road because it's all good and fun looking at the suspension but if you guys don't know what the suspension is going over then it kind of makes no sense to you it's just doing its thing so I'll show you guys what we're gonna be riding over and I'll show you guys the suspension doing its thing while we're actually going through that actual road so I'm gonna go down a straight road I'm gonna go down some curves and we're also gonna go through just the regular road in the city just to see how it is. I found a little bit of a lap that we can do and we'll do the lap once with the video on the front and we'll do another lap with the video on the back. Actually, I think I'll be doing the back first because I already have the camera set up there. So I have the camera set up right here. And basically, we're just gonna be recording as we ride and I'll show you guys the different inconsistencies in the road and you'll see that it doesn't really bottom out and you'll see how it handles the road and you can be the judge if it's good or if it's bad and you can let me know what you think in the comments section because I'm no expert but like I said it rides good enough for myself so now let's hop on let's go for a ride and let's see how it performs so we're almost at the spot where I want to do my lap now and I will let you guys know that I haven't changed the settings on the shocks or on the springs at all whatsoever from stock. So whatever the factory set them to or whatever they were set to when I picked the bike up, that's what they're set to right now. So you guys can kind of see what the original factory equipment shocks and springs work like. So I'm just going to pull over here real quick and I'm going to set up the camera for you guys and we'll go do a lap. There's a little bit of a straight section, a bit of uh, twisties and should give us a good idea of basically what the suspension does when you're on that kind of surface and as you can tell the road isn't the best over here uh, I know I'm in the parking lot right now but the road is pretty much identical to this it's not very good so let's set up the camera since I already have it here in the back okay and I heard it turn on and the angle should be pretty good all right now it's not the best view but as you guys are going to see in a second you will get the full view of the entire shock from top to bottom so you can see the travel of the shock and the spring so we'll do the back then we'll do the front let's go And we'll go for the twisty section first. Wasn't sure if that guy was turning or not. Sometimes people put their signal on the change lanes just before and uh, they leave it on there. So, well, wasn't quite sure, but I guess he was. So here we are and as you guys can see the road isn't that great. Uh, I'm not trying to hit the potholes but there is just potholes everywhere so it's going to make for better testing I guess you can say.
and I'm gonna stay behind this guy just because this lane is a little bit more bumpy so it will give you guys a better idea of what the suspension is doing if I go on that side it's gonna smooth out a bit and you won't really see it as much but I guess I can show you guys both sides of the story because when you are on the smooth side it does ride really well And this is doing about 80 kilometers an hour. I was doing about 70, between 60 and 70 when I was following him. So you guys can see now, just to give you an idea of what this, what it does. And honestly, it's actually pretty good. Like, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, like I said, the suspension for me is more than good enough, but I wouldn't mind having something adjustable. And we didn't have to wait very long for that light. So here it's a little bit more freshly paved, so you'll be able to see how the suspension does on nice tarmac or very good pavement. Or decent I should say because it's not very good So you can see there, that's just me standing up with me on the brakes, not doing anything with the throttle, just standing up and sitting down. So we're just at the end of our lap here now. I'm gonna go switch the camera over to the front so you guys can see what the forks do on that same lap. And I think this is a pretty good test track. I don't know, if you guys wanna see me... Oh, damn, that guy's exhaust is loud on the 250. If you guys wanna see me do a test on different types of terrain or if you wanna see me do like a gravel road or something like that, then uh, let me know, I'm happy to do that. But I'll be honest, I don't really go down gravel roads. I don't take my bike down those because they're not around me. I don't have to do them, so I don't really do them when I'm out in the country just because I don't want to be kicking up gravel and uh, yeah, I don't want to slide. <laughs> but uh, definitely if you guys want to see something like that, I'd be happy to do it. I've done it before. I've taken this thing into fields and yeah, I haven't off-roaded it, but uh, I've definitely taken it on some, uh, some more than uh, questionable roads. <laughs>
and we're back. So like I said, not a big lap, but I think it should be uh, good enough to do some testing. So now let's set up the camera in the front and let's see what the front suspension does. Now I'll be honest with you guys, this one is the one that sketches me out a bit because I'm using a flat mount, not a curved surface mount, because the curved surface mount wasn't making contact at all. I tried one of those first, and yeah, this one's not really connected on the sides here. I tried my best to push it down, but it's not really in there, so we'll do our best. Hopefully it stays on there. All right, round two, guys. Let's go and let's see how the front reacts. And now we're going 80 again. That one actually bounced me out of my seat for a second. All right, now finally the light is green again. And we can go. There's a little bit longer wait this time. Try to take the same lane as we did last time.
star snakes will really catch your tire. So there you guys have it. That's pretty much it for that round. And I'm going to take the camera off and I'll give you guys a little bit more feedback as we ride. But for now, uh, that's pretty much it for the split screen. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your feedback is. And if you guys have an SV, let me know how the suspension has been for you. If you guys have enjoyed it, if it's been good or bad, or what the case has been. But honestly, I can't complain myself. So like I was saying, the suspension for me personally, it works great. I haven't had any issues, whether you're riding through curves like I am right now or whether you're riding through the city, it honestly soaks up the bumps pretty well. And in addition, I've added the tuck and roll seat from the SV650X and it's actually really plush. Like it doesn't seem like it. It's only, I think one centimeter thicker and it's not that much greater but it does add that one centimeter more of plush and it helps a little bit like i'm not saying this is the most comfortable bike i've ever ridden but it's really comfortable and i really enjoy it and a lot of people complain that oh your butt hurts after an hour or after two hours well yeah you're riding a freaking engine you're sitting on an engine riding down the road if you want comfort buy a cruiser <laughs> but this is not that And we'll go for a little bit of a cruise here in the nice neighborhood since we're already here. And this is where they're building those McMansions. As you can see here, this thing is beautiful. It's massive. And we're going to be passing even bigger places than that. But yeah, basically, I haven't had any issues. So if you guys have any problems or if you guys have any questions, then definitely just ask me about the suspension. But that's pretty much all I can say other than damn look at this ginormous castle like wow two entrances into the back to your uh, motor court because at that point it's not even like a driveway or a garage it's a motor court <laughs> don't ask me how I know today's video was more focused on the actual suspension and reviewing that but I do a lot of just regular riding around vlogs and just having fun and enjoying myself on the motorcycle and on other vehicles, in other vehicles too. So if you guys are interested, then definitely jump down there and hit the subscribe button because there's a lot of different content coming your ways, guys. And hopefully you'll be there with me. What a unique looking barn, barn house. I don't know what you would even call that. That thing looked crazy. Rabbits everywhere. <laughs> Damn, that house is nuts. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that, but while riding, I have gotten a mosquito inside of my helmet, inside the little ear pocket there while going like 120 in the countryside. Luckily, I was in the countryside. There was nobody around me, nobody behind me. I could just pull over, pull over as fast as I could and I ripped my helmet off. But it's not a good feeling. <laughs> it definitely uh, throws you off for a second. And I just had another bug in my helmet in the ear channel, ear hole place. Uh, but yeah, it didn't feel great. <laughs> I don't enjoy that. But guys, I think that's the end of the video today. I'm pretty much done gonna just start heading back and I think I'm gonna wrap it up here so like I said if you guys are new around here jump down there hit the subscribe button leave me a comment drop me a like let me know what you guys enjoyed and let me know what you guys want to see for future videos because a lot of the times when subscribers ask me for videos I'll make them just because I like making stuff that you guys want to see because <laughs> who wants to make stuff nobody wants to see right but honestly, at the end of the day, I love making these videos for you guys. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next one. So until then, guys, ride safe out there. Peace.